She turned in the Christmas bomber not once, but twice, but she never received any of the reward money. And now Pamela Perry has filed a lawsuit claiming she deserves at least some of the reward. Investigative reporter Ben Hall spoke exclusively with Perry and examines the lawsuit. The lawsuit is asking a court to decide who should get reward money promised after Anthony Warner drove his RV downtown and blew up part of 2nd Avenue. In the wake of the destruction, the Nashville Convention and Visitors Corporation, and according to the lawsuit, the CEO of Camping World, offered rewards for information about the bomber. The lawsuit claims a breach of contract and says Pam Perry and anyone else who came forward should receive reward money. They made promises to the citizens of Nashville, and they haven't fulfilled them. Attorney Jim Roberts says it's wrong that the Nashville Convention and Visitors Corporation gave the $34,000 in reward money it raised to law enforcement, including the Metro Police Department. It was Metro Police's failure to properly investigate Mr. Warner that led to this tragedy. They didn't take me seriously. Pam Perry spoke exclusively to us in May about how she tried to warn Metro Police about Anthony Warner more than a year before the bombing. I feel like I was taken or looked at as a crazy person. In August of 2019, Perry told police officers that Warner was dangerous and said he was building bombs in the RV trailer at his residence. I needed to get this off of my soul. I couldn't, you know, I don't know how many people out there know things like this stuff and don't say anything. I couldn't live that way. Police came to Perry's home because they thought she was suicidal. Perry said she agreed to go to a hospital if police would go to Warner's house. Officers did go to his house. They saw the RV, but left without speaking to anyone because no one answered the door. I went into the hospital. I came out of the hospital. And he was texting me. Perry says when she got out of the hospital, police did not contact her, but Anthony Warner did. She immediately sold her home and hid from him, worried he would kill her for turning him in. Then she woke up Christmas morning. They showed the RV, and I immediately went into a panic mode. She did not know if Warner was alive or dead, but she decided again to turn him in. I'm afraid to call the police department. They didn't help me last time. So I called the FBI tip line and spoke to them for over an hour. Let the judge decide. That's the most objective thing to do. I'm Speaking via Zoom from out of state, state, Perry said the Convention and Visitors Corporation ignored her because she reminds people of the police department's failure in 2019. I think it's because I embarrassed the police department and they, they've made me the bad person. But in May, Butch Spearden defended the decision to give the reward money to law enforcement. There were, let's say, hundreds of citizens that called in tips. He relied on an FBI report that thanked law enforcement but did not identify any citizens who provided tips. Even before the lawsuit, he told Perry's attorney he needed proof to give her the reward. I told Mr. Roberts from the beginning, if law enforcement tells me it's y your clients, great. Perry said she would have turned Warner in even if there were no reward, but thinks giving it to law enforcement ignores her yet again. I've just been traumatized. My whole life has changed. The Nashville Convention and Visitors Corp said today it had not seen the lawsuit and could not comment. A spokesman for Marcus Limonis said Camping World should never have been part of this lawsuit said it was offered personally by Limonis. He said the reward was for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the bomber. That never happened because the bomber died in the blast. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates.